Okay, overnight in Miami, Conor McGregor has been arrested yet again. And this time it's for strong arm robbery and misdemeanor criminal mischief, which basically means in layman's terms, theft uh, and criminal damage. It's a nice way of putting it. Uh, it took place outside the Fontainebleau Miami Beach Hotel um, at some time yesterday. It's saying 5.20 local time. Is that morning? Is that afternoon? I'm going with afternoon as this is this story is broken um, about three hours ago. And we're five hours ahead. So I would say it took place in the afternoon. He's only recently been released from the police station in the last few hours. Um, he's apparently with the paparazzi and fans. They've, they've been outside the hotel waiting for him to leave. Uh, photographs have been taken, videos have been taken, but one fan has got a bit a bit close and, and he might have been aggravated. You know how the paparazzi get and some fans get a little bit pushy. He's got aggravated. He slapped the phone out of the fan's hand. He's, he's stamped on it, broken it, and and, and taking, taking the phone with him. Um, uh Basically, the, the the person that the fan wanting to take the photographs uh, was trying to take a picture of him uh, for his Twitter or his his Instagram or whatever you want to social media, and and McGregor has reacted uh, um, angrily. He did release a post after his release on social media, uh, saying that um, uh, patience uh, in this world is a virtue. I continue to work on. I love my fans dearly. Thank you all. So basically, uh, you know, he he's He's in trouble, uh, and while not as serious as what happened in Brooklyn, because of what happened in Brooklyn, he could be in more trouble. Uh, you know, going forward, this is the latest in a series of incidents involving Conor McGregor uh, away from the UFC octagon, uh, and this is a UFC problem and a Conor McGregor problem. So UFC as an organisation, this is not the first time that one of its fighters has been involved in, in a legal issue. Conor McGregor has had several, but he's the most famous. But there are a, a string of UFC fighters that have had uh, legal issues uh, since UFC's inception all those years ago. Um, Conor McGregor, this is concerning because, again, it's it's such a short space of time between incidents that he's had. And he's also had some very colourful incidents that aren't legally related, but some of his celebrations and some of his posts and pretty much conferences and some of his antics um, outside of the Octagon as well are, are very colourful. But this is a string of, of events that are happening, and it's a worrying string of events. If you are a UFC, if, you, if you're just a sports fan in general, you should be looking at, Conor McGregor's antics and actually be looking at them with some concern because we've been here before with so many um, high profile sportsmen and some sports women because uh, I could put Hope Silo in there with some of her legal issues we could throw Hope Silo in there we could throw um, there's a few other female sports sports stars who've done some really crazy things we could throw them in there we, we've had football players NFL players ice hockey players uh, NRL Super League Rugby Union Cricket we could throw in a whole host of, of, of different professional sports where high-profile athletes in those sports have had checkered off-field indiscretions, uh, and Conor McGregor is in that 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 bracket now. Um, he, he clearly things are not going all as it seems. He's down in Miami to train for his rematch against Habib. You know, you would think he'd be down in in, in an area away from the press, just focusing on his training, focusing on his fitness. But he's done this. So this is an issue for both UFC and Conor McGregor. Uh, the, the legal outcomes, we'll have to see when he actually appears inside uh, Miami-Dade County Court. Uh, that'll be interesting when he's in front of a judge and, and you know, if you know, what happens. Uh, I ex- I'm going to expect a suspended sentence and a, and a whacking fine, I would have no doubt. Um, a, a rather sizable fine. The interesting thing is, as far as I'm aware, there's been no footage on social media uploaded yet. Uh, I'm waiting for someone uh, to upload something and for that to go viral. I can't find any yet, but that doesn't mean it isn't out there. Uh, someone, if there's a fan taking a photo, that means there's other people taking photos and filming. Someone is tempted. I wouldn't be surprised to post that on social media. Someone is going to either sell that to a mainstream uh, news outlet, be it website or TV station, or put it on the social media. I'm waiting for that to happen. And when that does happen, this could really damage Conor McGregor more. But there we go. He's been arrested uh, yesterday. It's broken today. So I'm assuming it was 5.20pm that he would have been arrested. He was held at a police station, released a few hours ago. But these are these are serious. This is serious. So 
we'll have to see what develops from this. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts on Conor McGregor below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.